certainly the third best back. But Manal then daylight. Bruce, we've seen uh, the sweet embrace used as a lead up for the Golden Slipper. Dark Eclipse in 1980, Ha Ha 2001, Crystal Lily, who was an emphatic winner in 2010, and most recently, Fireburn. Do you think we have some potential Golden Slipper winners in this field? We do. Uh, I think so. Um, I'm, look, the, the Colts seem to be dominating, Lizzie. We've just been distracted a bit here at the moment. There's so much going on with talking about orchestral. But uh, I think Manal's the one, Lizzie, don't, don't you hear? I think Fly Fly can beat her. I love the run of Fly Fly on debut in the Piero. Had no luck at all behind Switzerland. And I think she can run well here. Lizzie, I say the Colts have got them. In the Blue Diamond last week, it was one, two, <laughs> three, four. The Phillies, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly right. We, uh, we're very reactive uh, when we're looking at races, and he was super impressive, Storm Boy. But then the previous week, we saw that blue diamond taken out by Heyasugi, and Lady of Camelot was arguably very unlucky. But this is a great edition of the Sweet Embrace. Uh, time to head up to Darren Flindell for his call. About to go here in the Sweet Embrace. There's the light, and we're ready to go. <laughs> Racing now, and the favourite Manal's jumped out reasonably well in the centre. One of the on pace runners, in fact, uh, going forward now with good speed is Chateau Miraval. And Chateau Miraval is going to lead from photographics, then Diddle Dumpling, followed by Zunaka on the rails to take a deep out. The favourite Manal in the white cap wedge between runners, with Waybreaker pushing through underneath. Further back to Montana, Dawn Vala bling out deep from Astride. And the last two, Extreme Diva, firing up on the inside of Fly Fly. Shadow Miraval lands in the lead here by a half on photographics. Totoka's three out. Then Diddle Dumpling over on the inside of Wave Breaker. Manal three wide with some cover. Further back, Vala bling off the course. Then came Zunaka, Montana, Dawn, Astride, Fly Fly. Extreme Diva going up the rails. They come up the rise now, and Shadow Miraval is revved up. Diddle Dumpling doing the chasing. The inside and now Manal is starting to wind up wide out and quickly Manal moved up to join Shadow Miraval Fly Fly and Extreme Diva are powering home, it's Manal in front of Fly Fly, Manal a length and a half to Fly Fly and Manal too good in the sweet embrace, beat Fly Fly, Extreme Diva third Shadow Miraval fourth, then Diddle Dumpling, further back to Toka from Photographics, Montana Dawn together with Vala Bling the Nastride, Wave Breaker and Zanaka well, both the second and third fillies have got good futures, Lizzie. They're ones to watch. There's no question about that. But Manal covered a bit of ground. Tommy knew he was on the best filly. We now look at her CV. It ticks so many boxes going into a Golden Slipper Stakes. It does. A gym crack winner. Then she returned nicely uh, first up in the Widden. She was beaten by Lady of Camelot, who's franked that form going into a Blue Diamond and ran a credible second behind Heiyasugi. And then she's met up against another bunch of quality fillies and being able to win, I think, pretty easily. When you were watching her at the top of the straight, Tommy really wanted to get to the outside of the track and wind her up at the right time and get her into top gear.